All right, so this is a video of a guy randomly in, recording a female. Without, she don't even know it, which is very creepy. And he's asking his followers to help him find her. I'm not lying. It says, Shawty in seat 25. And he's basically asking his followers to, to, to do y'all thing. And, you know, because that's that's the thing that people be doing on, on, on TikTok all the time. But that guy said some wise words. Fellas, we're making it too hard out here. We're just asking simple questions and then going off body language. If she tries to talk to you through a mask, that mission. She removes the mask so you see her face and her smile. Keep going. Excuse me, where'd you get your neck pillow from? I got it from so-and-so. Really helps me on my flight. Keep going. I see you're by yourself, solo vacation. She's most likely gonna smile because that's interesting. She's gonna respond with visiting friends, visiting family. At this point, what's your name by the way? Nice to meet you. And that, please during the flight, do not stare at her or make things weird. As you guys are getting off the plane, you're gonna say, I hope you have a nice vacation. We should exchange information so we can get food or drinks while we're out here. That's all you have to do. If you get rejected, who cares? Now you know what it is, and now you're not going to overthink. Wise words from a wise man. Look, bro, either she like you or she don't. That's why it's so important to just be confident and be regular. Be a regular human. You ain't got to do all the extra stuff, bro. Just be a regular human. Because women are so socially intelligent that they can tell when you're nervous. They can tell when you're not being authentic. They can tell when you're not being 100. They can tell when you're not being real. Unless, you, unless you're just that good of a player, they can tell when you're nervous. So don't be don't be nervous. Just be regular and talk to her. And either she like it, she don't. I know that it's going to be extremely difficult to find a husband for me because I would prefer that my husband and I do not live in the same home. You have your place. I have my place. You have a key to my place. I have a key to your place. You can come and go as you please. But as far as uh, as far as as a dwelling in the same place every single day, like I'm just not that idea is not sexy to me. Like there's nothing appealing to me about that. Like, you know, maybe three, four days a week we spend with each other, whether he comes over to me or I go over to him. You know, we we spend the entire time together. But the other three days like, nah, like that's. That's your personal time. That's my personal time. If I miss you in those three days, I pop up on you. If you miss me in those three days, pop up on me. But like, I value that separation. And anytime I mention this to a man I'm dating, it's always crickets. So she says she wants to be married but separated. Okay, well, what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at from where marriage was originated, from my understanding. All right, so it says, uh, numbers, verse six, this is Mark 10, says, But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female for the reason. A uh, man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, joined, not separated, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. So that's the purpose of marriage, to be together, not separated. Number two, what's the purpose of a man getting married to a woman? If she can get the same benefits of being in a regular boyfriend girlfriend relationship, what benefit does a man get out of being married, especially in this day and age with the laws and things like that, are surrounded around marriage and divorce? Really, around divorce. I'm speaking more so in the context of if she doesn't want to be in the same household as the man that she's married to, and she wants to be separated, what incentive does that man have for, to get married in the first place? Why not just stay boyfriend and girlfriend if that's what she wants? Why, why go to the next step of being married if you want to be in separate places? Boyfriend and girlfriend is when you're like separated, but you're still visiting each other. Marriage is a full on commitment when you join together. Number three, I'm assuming that she doesn't have any children and she's not planning on having any children with the guy because. But, you know, in this day and age, you don't know what to expect for them females, bro. Like, I'm surprised. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Let me just go ahead and cut to the chase. I don't know what you want, what you're looking for. People say they're looking for one thing, their actions display another. Facts. Um, so here's what I'm proposing. We can vibe, we can chill. Um, a lot of women get on this app and the first thing they want to say is, I'm not hooking up, I'm not. I want your time and energy. I say, <laughs> okay, cool. That's exactly what y'all about to start getting out here, just time and energy. <laughs> so here's what I'm proposing in a respectful way. I understand you may not want to open up your legs because something of value is there to you. Well, something of valuable is in me opening up my wallet. Facts. So, I don't want to use something valuable. You don't want to use something valuable. If it's mutual, let's do that. But what City we boys. can do is we can go on a date. You can spend your money.
money on you. I spend my money on me. We can walk. We can talk. We can have any conversation. But that money stuff, nah, that finesse ain't gonna happen no more. Not even with five dollars. <laughs> so let me know if you want to move forward. If not, that's okay. Let's start with the fact that before he told us he needed therapy without telling us he needed therapy, all she said was, hey, how are you? I also want to point out that when he was talking about spending money and he was equating that with her having sex, in his mind, spending money equals you f me. Number three, in the dating world, I have a theory. These are some of the worst, oh, some of the worst men you could come across because they have been curved by women their entire lives. Just curve, curve, curve. And so they have a chip on their shoulder. And as a result, this is how they talk to women uh, in these dating situations. Shit, maybe not even dating situations. Maybe this is just how they talk to women. Really, he doesn't need to be on a dating app. Um, I think this looks like hand. She needs to be in therapy. Like, y'all, she, hey, how are you? It's all she's, baby, no. First, I want to say city boys, we up. You know what I'm saying? No longer are men being able to get taken advantage of by women who play games. I've been doing that for years. Probably since the, I'll probably say since the 80s. Since the 80s, y'all been getting away with that type of stuff. And I'm not even a city boy. I'm a married man. But I'm just saying city boys, we up because it ain't we, but I'm, I'm just glad that the manosphere is teaching men. Like, nah, you, you you want my money? Then I want something from you. You want something from me. And it's, it's, a, it's so funny how that female equates that to him needing therapy. No, he's being straightforward with you. A lot of females get so frustrated when men aren't straightforward, when they play games and stuff and, and take them through all this emotional roller coaster, take them through all that emotional roller coaster. Here you got a man being straightforward and she's saying he needs therapy because she doesn't agree with the things he's saying, nor does she like what he's saying. Now, in my, in my honest opinion, I think the message was too long. If she said, hey, how are you? And that's his first message. I would have gave her a 15 second, 20 second message and I would have said all that in 20 seconds. She don't deserve all that explanation. What is it the problem if my man feels the need to have another woman that's not me? I'm just asking. What you mean? Because he just needs more help. Then leave me. I'm not the Why? woman for you. If I can't provide everything for you that you feel like you need to have in a relationship, I'm not the one for you. But if I find a nigga who I can do everything for and he can do everything for me, we straight. We now, I understand what she's saying. She was like, why y'all getting mad at me for feeling this way? Now, no, ain't nobody getting mad at you for feeling that way. The problem is what you're saying is unrealistic. You're saying that you should be able to provide, if your, your man should be satisfied with everything you can provide for him. Only God can satisfy us. That's number one. Number two, your, a woman's drive can't match a man's drive. Now, some women, but that's, that, those are outliers. Those are the people that's like in the 5% tile range. 95% of women and I'm just saying that based on just making a generalization because I know it's true because I've been around women my whole entire life. They don't Their drive don't match men's drive. It usually is, it's an issue. That's one of the biggest issues that comes up in marriage. So if he wants a side piece, it's not because he don't love you and nothing like that. It's just the fact that you can't meet his needs in that particular area. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying it's, it's right or a man should do that. I'm just saying like the fact that... <laughs> You know, I talked about it a thousand times on my channel, and I don't even want to go through all of that stuff again. All I'm saying is that women have these expectations of men as far as, like, like a lot of women do expect men to be fully satisfied with what they can provide for them. And oftentimes they get let down because us men aren't. We're not really, we're not designed in a way to be fully satisfied with, 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 with what women can provide for us. You know, and that's why a lot of men cheat. I'm not saying it's right, but a lot of men do that because a woman, they're just not able to satisfy. Why do you think that when men are single, they try to build a team of like three to four to five plus women? They call it a rotation. They call it a team. And what that is, is when she don't want to do nothing with you, you have about three or four more, more three or four more other options of women that might be in the mood to do it. You know, it's it's basically giving you a it's giving you abundance in that particular area. You know what I'm saying?